Well, we can never forget those who serve our country, and tonight a special event is being held to help Michigan veterans returning from their tours of duty in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah, this is a very cool event. Tonight, the Fallen and Wounded Soldiers Fund is having its seventh annual dinner and auction in Livonia. And joining us, the, join us this morning is one of tonight's speakers, Miss Michigan, Elizabeth Wurtenberger. Elizabeth, welcome. Yes. Thank you for having me. Yes, now why did you decide to get involved with this program? Tell us about yes. it. Yes, my platform is I work with kids with chronic illness, but this is um, something that's near and dear to my heart. Um, our veterans have given so much for our country, and this is just a little way that I can pay back to them. My cousin actually did two tours in Afghanistan, so I know what it's like for these veterans to come home. He actually returned home with post-traumatic stress syndrome, so it's so important for funds like the Fallen and Wounded Soldiers Fund um, to give back to these families because these veterans are our heroes. They've given so much for our country. Absolutely. And you're going to be sharing a spe special story of what you have gone through. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. Yes, which is my platform. I work with kids with chronic illness. Doctors told me by the age of 18 I'd be confined to a wheelchair the rest of my life because I had an autoimmune disorder, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. Well, I'm now 23 years old. I still walk. I dance. I do gymnastics. I competed for Miss America. But I also also, I graduated high school early. I graduated college early. I started a business when I was 19, and I did all of this because the doctor said that I couldn't. I used that adversity in my life to empower me. So I've been able this year as Miss Michigan to speak out against that and let people know that any type of adversity in your life, you truly can use that to empower you. Yeah, a lot of folks, when, you, when you're faced with these adversities, your first impulse may be to shut down or feel sorry for yourself, and you really have to attack the problem head on to, to make something of the Absolutely. situation. It's okay to fall down, but it's not okay to stay on the ground. So it's about fighting back. And you are from Monroe County, grew up yes. in Dundee. Yes. What um, are you hoping to accomplish? Obviously, your reign as Miss Michigan, uh, it's kind of winding down, yes, right? Yes, I am done June 16th. And because of the job of Miss Michigan, many doors have opened. Opportunities have come my way that I never dreamed of. And fingers crossed, what I will be doing come June 17th is being an advocate full-time for children with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. So I'll be a motivational speaker. Okay. I'll be traveling the country, sharing my story, um, reaching out to legislators also. And also one of the really neat things is working with physicians about compassionate care because I was a teenager when I dealt with the majority of my illness. And being a teenager is hard enough and then throwing on top of chronic illness. Sure. So a lot of doctors, they just want to shy away. They don't want to deal with the teenager so it's important for them to learn how to deal with teenagers so that would be my job well thank you so much and today's event is where and when it is it's in Novi at the suburban Chrysler collection and I will actually be one of the auction items tonight <laughs> and it isn't a date but <laughs> just out there. yeah I'm just throwing that out there but for parents to bid on it for their for their young daughters to be able to see what it's truly like to be wow. Miss Michigan Oh, wonderful. Nice. Well, so thank you exciting. so much. Great effort by you. Beautiful you. inside and out. We're going to have all the details on tonight's event on our website, wxyz.com.